Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Last week I showed you a mask that was really a mock-up and ended up being a present for somebody. That is a bandana with a three pleat mask made out of another bandana. Uh, and you guys gave me some really good feedback and we're really excited about it. I made a list of everybody who wants one of those masks and I ordered in the stuff to make a whole bunch. And I'm really excited to show you what I have come up with for these masks. Bandana. I zhuzhed it up a little bit. The edges were a little shitty. So uh, I put a, a rolled hem on all of the bottoms. Zhuzh. Make it nicer. And the quilting fabric is a pretty good match, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is the smaller of the two sizes. The large is quite a bit bigger. More, it's like an inch bigger on all sides. Mm -hmm. The mask features a filter pocket as per all my other three pleat masks and a little slot sewn to put in uh, your nose wire should you want one. So that's that one. And I also worked on another one. This is a take on the contour mask. I've done a bunch of research on other materials and stretch chiffon is gotten some really good uh, research. I can, I can show you and back it up. I can cite my sources. And I thought we would try making the contoured mask with a bandana sewn on front. So the under, the under mask has a nose wire and it has stretchy bands you can wear over your ears or under your ears, depending on your preference. I prefer them over my ears personally. It has a nose wire and it's sewn in place. It's not something that you can take in or out. Um, again, the underside is a regular contoured mask. It's sewn with a French seam, so everything's gonna stay put, not gonna have any fraying. Really soft edges. Looks like, looks like a bandana. Take it down, look jaunty. <laughs> this one happens to be black and white polka dots, but it because it lives inside the bandana, I don't think anybody would ever even know or care. So, um, so you can uh, look like a your old jaunty, stylish self. And when you need to uh, go to the post office or or kick tear gas canisters, slide that baby up and you're in business. So all of the protection of a modern mask and all of the style of a bandana. What do you think? Let me know in the, in the comments. So these bandanas, I'm gonna be really honest, these bandanas are not the greatest bandana in the whole wide world. Um, if I did, get the greatest bandanas in the whole wide world. These masks would cost so much, I don't think it would be an appropriate price point. So I chose materials that I thought would make a good mask for the purpose of the mask. And um, the other side of it is if I made these out of two bandanas, which is totally possible, I would be producing a lot of waste. And that is something that I have committed to in my stuffed animal shop and also in the mask making shop is that I, I don't want to produce more garbage or scrappy waste to go into the landfill. So I'm trying my best to be as um, ecologically sound as I possibly can and reduce my waste as much as I can. So <laughs> let me know down below in the comments which mask you prefer the contoured style or the three pleat style. And if you think they're really ready to go to production. So I think this is why I'm making this video and why I'm even asking. I'm a little bit concerned that you all won't approve of the, the top and the bottom parts not quite matching. I'm concerned. Cause I'm a perfectionist and I care and 
um, I could just go ahead and make them and send them to you and you, maybe you'd get them and be like what the, the fuck is this and I don't want that um, so I want to know if the materials that I have on hand are on point enough to move forward and if not then I'm happy to order in more stuff <laughs> I'll still be able to use all the things that I have that's not a problem um, but as, for the, as far as uh, folks wearing a bandana style um, pleated mask combo McThinger um, is it close enough for you is it right on point for you is it just totally missing the mark let me know and um, you don't have to worry about being kind. I went to art school, so I can handle a critique. Just let me know in the comments. Thank you very much.